Hello and welcome to Clearview Television. We are reaching you live from Nigeria's capital city, Abuja. This is Abuja, the fastest growing city in the world. Thousands troop in and out of this great place. So, where are you coming from? Far north, south, east, or west? Let's share this wisdom with you about where to stay, considering comfort, prompt services, and above all, adequate security. Zeus Paradise Hotel, number one, Domenico Gito Street by Setraco, by Jabi Lake Mall, Mabushi, Abuja. We invite you to get details of this hotel from our website, www.zeusparadise.com. Telephone 0807-050-0062. Zeus Paradise Hotel, complete home away from home. Governor Hope Uzadima of Imo has accused the opposition and aggrieved members of the All Progressives Congress of fueling the rising levels of insecurity in the Southeast state. The governor made the comment when he inaugurated a security council at the grassroots level to provide solutions to the state security challenges while calling on traditional rulers to help in the fight against insecurity. The governor urged the leaders to fish out criminals in their domains. Governor Uzodima told the Security Council to go beyond organizing vigilante groups in the state to gathering intelligence. I'd advise that traditional rulers should warn these boys, even though most of you have refused to reveal their names. You should warn them because I am bringing a security strategy, known and unknown, to manage security in Imo State. The work of this council is not only to organize the uh, security or vigilante group. This council must now go home and get us names of every criminal in their communities. You must collect intelligence for us. You must collect intelligence for security agencies to work. But I can assure you that the opposition party, the opposition party and some aggrieved members of our party who are hiring boys from neighboring states to come in here. Allow me, I will deal with them. I can assure you, leave that for me. So the people who threatened that it will make Imo ungovernable, before Imo becomes ungovernable, they will be ungovernable themselves. And former president of Nigeria, Chief Olusha Gumabasanjo, says Nigeria is dripping with bitterness and sadness in the face of the current social, economic and political challenges facing the country. According to Obasanjo, the current challenges besetting the nation run contrary to the dreams and aspirations of the founding fathers and what God destined the country to be. All of us, particularly in this country and now, we have something to contribute to make this country what God has created it to be, a land flowing with milk and honey. Right now, it's a land flowing with bitterness and sadness. That is not what God has, what God meant for this country. We, are, we must change it, and we must change the narrative. And as you may have heard in the news, Nigeria may be gradually gravitating towards becoming a failed state. This no doubt explains the frustration of former President Lucia Guobazinjo when he asserted that Nigeria is dripping with bitterness and sadness, implying that a drastic action is required to douse the tension in the land over the rising state of insecurity. Given the weight of the former president's comment, Nigerians have begun reacting on what should be done to return the country to the path of sanity. Um, Nigeria is in chaos. Uh, from what we know about Nigeria, Nigeria used to be a lovely country. Um, in the 70s, in the 80s, in the 90s, even in the 2000s, Nigerians are lovely people, but what we see today is quite different. 
And many a times we wonder what is going to happen in the next 10 decades, I mean the next one decade and 10 years from now or 20 years from now, if we bleed so much in a short period of time, what is going to happen? Uh, the President Obasanjo actually made a very important comment and I stand with him on that. Nigeria is, is actually bleeding. The nation has been bleeding for how long? More than a decade now. I think the solution is the national confab. The resolution that has been gotten from the national confab should be practiced. It shouldn't, it shouldn't just be there in the books, lying, and eventually it will decay. But it should be practiced. It should be put into action. These resolutions should, should matter. This is Abuja, the fastest growing city in the world. Thousands troop in and out of this great place. So, where are you coming from? Far north, south, east, or west? Let's share this wisdom with you about where to stay, considering comfort, prompt services, and above all, adequate security. Zeus Paradise Hotel. Number one, Domenico Gicho Street by Setraco by Jabi Lake Mall, Mabushi, Abuja. We invite you to get details of this hotel from our website, www.zeusparadise.com. Telephone 0807-050-0062. Zeus Paradise Hotel, complete home away from home. Remember to like us on Facebook at Clearview Television. Follow us on Twitter at Clearview Online. You can follow us on Instagram at Clearview TV underscore NG. You can also remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Clearview TV. I am Prudence Okona. Many thanks for joining us.